Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. So this is a higher tier only topic and before you watch this video you need to make sure you fully understand how to add and subtract fractions and find common denominators. So my first example here is simplify fully x minus 4 over 3 minus x plus 7 over 5. So when we don't have algebra on the denominators, here we only have integers, it is generally easier. So as I would with adding and subtracting fractions, the first thing I'm going to do is find a common denominator. So here I have 3 and 5 on the denominators. My lowest common multiple is going to be 15. So putting a 15 on the bottom... Now the first fraction, to go from the 3 on the denominator to the 15, I am multiplying by 5. So I need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. And for now I'm just going to leave it in brackets. So I'm going to do all of that multiplied by 5. And then on my second fraction, I multiply everything by 3. So that's my first step and that will get me some marks. Now I'm going to expand the numerators, so this is 5x minus 20 over 15 minus 3x plus 21 over 15. Now I've just got to write these as one fraction and I can do this now that my denominators are the same. So I have 5x minus 20 minus 3x minus 21 just be careful at this step here if it was 3x minus 21 in the numerator that would make it a double negative and I would have minus 3x plus 21 so just be careful of that step and this is all over 15 now to simplify my numerator 5x minus 3x is 2x and minus 20 minus 21 is minus 41 and that is all over 15 and that won't simplify any further because there is no integer apart from 1 that divides 2, 41 and 15 so that's my final answer here's a slightly more tricky example because this time I have algebra on the denominators of my fractions so I need to find some common multiple of x plus 4 and x minus 4. Now the simplest way to do this, as we do with adding fractions, we could always multiply the denominators together. So if I had a denominator of 6 and 8, I know for definite that 48 would work as a common denominator. It might not be the best option, but it certainly works. And with algebra, that's the only option we have. So my first fraction, I'm going to put my denominator, x plus 4, and I'm going to put it in double brackets, x minus 4. Now I've multiplied this fraction by x minus 4. So my top, I have to multiply by x minus 4 as well. My second fraction, I'm going to put the same denominator in the same order. This one has been multiplied by x plus 4, so I'm going to multiply my numerator by x plus 4. Now, as before, we just need to do a little bit of tidying up with this. So the first thing I can do here is expand this bracket on the top. So leaving the first fraction as it is. And my second fraction is going to become 2x plus 8 and the same denominator. Of course, you don't have to do this step of working out. You could have worked out that it was 2x plus 8 on the numerator straight away. But I'm just trying to show you every step of working out here. So my final answer here is going to be um, I have an x minus 4 and a 2x plus 8 on the numerators. So that's 3x plus 4 all over. 
Now the denominator here, you can leave it as it is and that will still get you full marks. So I'm going to leave it as x plus 4, x minus 4. There's no need to create extra work for yourself there figuring that out. Unless the question specifies that it wants the answer given in a certain form. And this one doesn't, it just says simplest form, so this is fine for full marks. Here's two questions for you to try. Pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the solutions. So the first question, you should have been using a common denominator of 12. And when you expand your numerators and simplify, you have 7x minus 11 over 12. And the second question, use a common denominator of 2x minus 1 and x plus 1 in brackets. Um, so I left them as single brackets on the numerators to start with. And then when you combine these together, just be careful, you have minus 2x and minus minus 1, which is plus 1 on the numerator. And then we have 2x and minus 2x, which cancel each other out. We're just left with 3 on the numerator, all over my double bracket denominator. And again, there's no need to expand that to make extra work for yourself. Thank you for watching.